Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. Now, I was hoping that I could revive the old intro that I used on the old episodes of Dr. Cassette's Workshop, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. I did it on a couple of videos and I got into trouble because I don't own the rights to the music and, you know, I would like to activate the ads, the, the revenue sharing on those videos and uh, of course with the music I can't do that. Actually got a little bit of a warning from YouTube when I try to activate the revenue sharing on one of the videos that had the intro music in it. Anyway, um, here we have a Grundig reel-to-reel. -reel. This is the model TK126. It is a portable, non-portable reel-to-reel, -reel, meaning it is portable in a way that it has a carrying handle and it is small and compact. It is non-portable because it cannot run off batteries. It does need AC power. Um, it is a two-track machine, all very simple, and uh, I guess it was a rather inexpensive thing back in its days. I got it at a flea market for, I think, 11 euro or 12 euro, I think more than a year ago, and I took it apart because it wasn't working. Of course it wasn't working. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I never put it back together, and I never finished the repairs, and was just sitting on the floor for a very, very long time. And I was actually putting things on top of it, and I was hitting it with things, and uh, what happened was uh, that the volume control, I just realized that today, the volume control broke off of the circuit board, and I had to solder that back in place. No damage done, luckily. Um... Now, what was wrong with this thing? Uh, mechanically, it's working fine. All the belts are good, all the rubber parts are in perfect condition. It's really nice. But the electronics wouldn't work. When I was turning it on, I got no signal. And what was going on was... There was this capacitor sitting in the circuit. This is the smoothing capacitor of the power supply. When I had a closer look at this thing... Whoops! It's blown. So I had to replace this capacitor. This is the underside of the reel-to-reel. -reel. You can see nice big and heavy motor right there. And the built-in oval speaker. And down here is where all the electronics are sitting. This is the oscillator coil for the bias. Here are the two transistors for the power amplifier. These are germanium transistors, so they may cause problems in the future. And here is the circuit board, and there is the new capacitor. Now the problem that I had was that this capacitor is was designed to lay down on the circuit board. I think you call that a an axial design. I unfortunately only had capacitors with a radial design that uh, are designed to stand up on the circuit board. So I had to use this wire and glue the capacitor onto the circuit board and do it that way. I also replaced this capacitor over here just because the capacitor, that uh, the original capacitor, was looking similar to this one and it had a rather high capacity of a thousand microfarads. And since I had a capacitor, a proper capacitor lying around, I said, okay, well, Go ahead and replace it. Behind it there is the record play switch. The switches in here are clean as well. Grundig really used high quality components. There is no ox oxidization on the contacts at all. It's really, really nice. Very, very high quality. This could be the serial number right there. And back on the top side, you can see big and heavy flywheel right there, all around. There is a microphone input right there. And there's a single view meter right there, which only works in record. 
mode. Haven't really cleaned the heads yet. Cleaned everything else. The heads are going to be cleaned later on. The cover, the housing has been cleaned as well. It's lying right there at the moment. I'll have to put it all back together. And then I'll be making a full presentation of this reel to reel. Now, while I was repairing this reel to reel, I had a thought that I just wanted to share with you because it illustrates real well how things have changed during the past years. Now, not all too long ago in the news, of course, nowadays we're all forgetting things very quickly because every day there is something else in the news, but not all too long ago there was a company in the news, a company called Foxconn, located in China, of course, and this company is a manufacturer of a lot of laptops. I once had an Acer laptop that was made by Foxconn and had a bunch of Foxconn labeled parts inside. The iPhone and iPod and I don't know what are also made by Foxconn for Apple. And that company was in the news because it treated its employees so badly that a bunch of them committed suicide which uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, how can a company treat their employees so bad, really? Um, and that really is a, an extreme contrast to how things used to be back in the days in the Grundig factories when this reel-to-reel -reel was made. The employees at Grundig even had their own swimming pool in the factory, believe it or not. It's <laughs> really... What a difference. Anyway, that's about it for this episode of Dr. Cassette's workshop. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.